physics. Eleven oh one lecture chapter two B. All right, <clears throat> so again, I've done these similar lectures last year, but this is for 2021 as far as the lectures are concerned. So I've left up the equations from before of for solving different problems based on what you know. And whether it's the x direction or the y direction. So, um, so I'm going to do some problems with the horizontal direction first. And then I'll work on, and then I'll do some stuff working with the vertical direction. So, okay. So I'm going to do some examples here as far as using these. And these will be problems in the textbook. So, I'll do a couple of them here. So one example I'll do is, say a sprinter goes um, from zero to 20 meters per second in four seconds, all right? Then the question is, what is the acceleration? And the second thing I would be, uh, I could ask is how far does it go in that time period? I mean, do we have enough information to do that? So this would be the first question. And in what we have here, we know what? We know a V naught to zero, final velocity, which is V, is 20 meters per second, and the time is four seconds. So we're trying to find the acceleration. So what would we use here? Um, you want to find an expression that has only one unknown if you can do that. And so the first question we would have using this would be um, the equation, this one. So you know V naught. We know V-naught, we know final, and we know time. So we would put that into here. So V is 20, I'm, I'm gonna drop the units, equals zero plus A times four. All right, divide, this cancels out, divide both sides by four, and acceleration is five meters per second squared. So Gotta make sure you keep the units in there correctly as far as that's concerned, All right? So that is the first problem there. Okay, let's look at another one. I'll leave this up for a minute. Okay. Second problem. I would do, I'll do is, um, where is it? Oh. All right, this is problem 22, and 22 in chapter, chapter uh, seventh edition. All right, a car slows down from 28 meters per second, so V naught, is 28 meters per second. I'm going to show you the problem quick. So it's this problem, right? Number 22. And then after that, I'll do problem 27. Okay. So for 22, 
slows down from 28 meters per second to rest. So in this case, we start at 28 meters per second and our final velocity is zero. And it does it in a distance of 88 meters. So X is 88 meters, right? So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find what is the acceleration? All right, what do we know here? Uh, in this case, with the previous problem, um, we were able to find the acceleration because we we're given velocity, initial velocity, and the time. In this case, we're given the position or change, how far it's gone, because we're assuming x naught is zero, all right? So if x naught is zero, this becomes just x. So we're gonna, probably the best one to use would be the third one. We know this, we know that, we know x. So that would be v squared, which is zero. Now remember, it's not, this is not always, v naught is not always zero. It's what you are starting from. v is what, where you end up. So this would be zero squared equals 28 squared plus two times a times 88. All right, in that case, need a calculator here. So it would be a, so it would be minus 28 squared over 176 is a. All right, so 28 okay, divided by 176, I get 4 point, approximately 4.5, negative 4.5 meters per second squared. That would be the acceleration in this case. So it's a deceleration, it's negative, and we're based now on the fact that if we go this way is positive, so we're taking that as going in the positive direction. Remember, a negative acceleration is not necessarily slowing down, all right? If we were actually going in that direction, then x would be negative, and we'd actually end up with a positive. Having a would be positive, but it'd be slowing down in that direction. We get deceleration. Deceleration occurs. Whenever x and no, v and a are opposite signs. Or x, you know, direction you're moving. The direction you are moving. So in this case, v naught is positive. So if they're opposite, then a would be negative. In this case. If velocity was negative, then A would be positive. So they're opposite signs. So you gotta be careful what you mean by that. If it was moving that way, that would be a negative velocity and the deceleration would be positive because it's opposite and slowing it down. All right? So, um, that's what we're gonna see, okay? So that's problem 22. All right, I'll leave that. Next thing I'm gonna do is problem 27, which I um, will show you. Again, this is from the text, so I'll put it up again. Car slows down uniformly from a speed of 28 meters per second to rest in eight seconds. How far did it travel at that time? All right, so we have 
B, so this is 27, V naught is 28 meters per second, V final is zero, and it does that in a time of eight seconds, all right? And we're trying to find X, given X naught is zero, all right? X naught is zero. So we're trying to find X. All right, what can we do here to find this? All right. Um, let's see, we know. Oh, well, we don't, we know the time. Um, uh, we don't know the accelerator. So we have every expression, if we had here, we have V, V naught, and we're trying to find X, but we don't know A. Here, we, we don't have X at all. Um, here, we have the same issue, but we gotta find the acceleration. We don't know, um, at, we're trying to find X, and X, and we don't know A. So what we're gonna need to do is find the acceleration first. So this is a two-part problem. So we're going to find, use this one first, and then I'll use that one um, to, to find the acceleration, uh, to find the distance. So A, so we're going to have here is V is 0 equals V naught, which is 28 plus A times 8. So A is going to be, if we move this over, this becomes minus 28 equals 8A, divide both sides by 8, and we end up with, what do we end up? 3 minus 3.5 meters per second squared is the acceleration. So then given that, uh, we can find what the uh, distance traveled is. And so we can do that. Um, uh, we can use the last one. So we got then V, V squared is 28 equals V naught, which is, oh, I got it wrong, sorry. V is zero, that's why you gotta be careful. V naught is 28 squared plus 2 times negative 3.5 times x. So this from before, it, so this becomes, right, and again is minus 784 equals minus seven times x, All right, we're, and so divide both sides by seven, negative seven, and x becomes, let's see, 100, and that's 12, right. That becomes 112 meters. So that's how far it travels in that time period. Okay, so there you have it. That's problem 27. So any kind of problem like that, um, you can solve for, depending on, you may need to do two steps, but here's your expressions here as far as that's concerned. All right, um, let me do one more here. I'll start a problem. Um, because we'll deal with this later. It's also one problem in the book. And now I'll do some vertical problems. So I'll erase this stuff. So what we have here is the problem um, is um, and this is related to, we'll see when we do what we call the ballistic pendulum. But we'll get to that later. What we have is a wood block 
and we shoot a bullet in it into it at a velocity of 500 meters per second. Now I'm not going to do the whole problem, but you can work it out. Um, well, let's do a thousand meters per second because this, then I can work it all out. You can do the problem with the text. All right, so this is very similar to a book, to the problem in the review quiz questions. And it hits it, and well, it's a bullet, and it is going, and it, it ends up traveling 10 centimeters with X. Um, what is, the de what is the acceleration or deceleration of this thing? All right. Now, first of all, notice we don't know the mass. It turns out the mass really has nothing to do with it. But what we have here is we know V naught is a thousand. V is zero. So always keep that in mind. This is deceleration. X is 10, and this will be from 1,000 to zero, and it does it in 10 centimeters. So in this case, it's a change 10 centimeters to 0.1 liters, because everything has to be in meters, kilograms, and seconds. And what are we trying to find? So we know V, we know V naught, we know V, we know X, so in this case, the only, there's one expression we don't know, um, one unknown, and that is a third equation. So this would be um, V is zero squared equals a thousand squared plus two times point one. All right. So, ooh boy, that would be one million divided by 0.2, I mean minus that is A. That is going to be one big number. That will be minus five million meters per second squared, which using G is about 10 meters per second squared. This is about 500,000 G. So it's actually not an unrealistic thing. I mean, it's possible, but it, the G forces on a bullet or forces slowing down are enormous. And that gets translated into the opt of wood doing it, slowing it down. So this is one example, you know, the example, I think the problem, the review quiz problem is, um, uses a different number. All right, so that's it for that example. All right, so those are some examples there. Um, as far as that's concerned, all right. There are also some questions related to Excel graphs and stuff. Remember that, so I'll talk about that before I do the review for the fine for the exam one, which will be mostly on chapters one and two, but may include some stuff in chapter three. So, all right. So what we have here now for Second part is I'm going to be using um, doing a vertical. So vertical up would be positive and down is negative. All right. So in the y direction, acceleration g g is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Minus is a c minus 9.8. I do approximations sometimes, but I have a calculator. I do it that way. And in this case, uh, your, your equations for y, y is y naught um, plus v naught v 
V naught T plus one half GT squared. Okay. And the velocity is going to be V is V naught plus GT. All right. So the question then is, here's, here's a couple things, right? Um, I throw an object upwards with a V of 9.8, let's say 19.6 meters per second. And in the second case, I throw it down um, with a velocity of minus 19.6 meters per second. All right. So I throw it upwards so I could either th like throw this object upwards or I could throw it down. All right. What's the question here would be uh, a couple things I could ask is what is velocity? So for time, is say three seconds, let's say one second and three seconds. <clears throat> what is the velocity after each case? And how, wh what, is, what is this position after each time, All right? So we're gonna start, so here's our expressions. First one is up, second one is down, okay? And our, we're gonna look at the time is one second and three seconds, and we're gonna find velocity and y, all right? So the first case, okay. So I'll put this here. This is y naught is zero. Here is 19.6 upwards. And this one is minus that. So let's start with the first one. All right. So in the first case, uh, v naught is 19.6 meters per second. After one second, we have to go back to our equations here. Um, oh, v naught. These two are good enough, all right? Um, then V will be, V is V naught, which is 19.6 minus 9.8 times one. That would be 9.8 meters per second, okay? Now, if we look at this, after two seconds, at t equals two seconds, v would be 19.6 minus 9.8 times two, which is zero. So it turns out after two, one second is slowing down, two seconds is stopped. What'll happen after three seconds? After three seconds, and then v will be, and I'm gonna do is just find y um, for t equals three seconds, all right? So what is this position after each one? So I'll do that at the end. All right, so for here, v is going to be 19.6, that's v naught, minus 9.8 times three, which turns out to be minus 9.8 meters per second. So it's actually going downward. So it goes up, slows down, stops, and then starts going back the other direction. So after three seconds, it's actually going down. Then it'll get faster and faster in the negative direction as it falls. So that's the case there, all right? Okay. All right, so let's look at the velocity when we do, so for one second it's 9.8, at two seconds it's zero, at three seconds it's minus 9.8. So that's when we throw it upwards and come down. So let's try it the other way. Let's try it where 
instead of shooting it upwards, and then we'll do the distance traveled after all this, if V naught is minus 19.6 meters per second, so we actually throw it down with a very relative high speed. All right, V is minus 19.8, minus 19.6, plus or minus 9.8 times one, which is minus 20, 20, 29.4 meters per second, minus, all right? That's after one second. After two seconds, then it's going to be minus, then it's going to be minus 19.6, minus 9.8 times two, that would be minus 39.2 meters per second. And then finally for, for three seconds, it'd be minus 19.6, minus 9.8 times three, which would be, uh, let's see, minus, that's minus 29. That looks like that's gonna be minus 59, yeah. So when we throw it downwards, it gets fast. It does not slow down and go back. It just gets faster and faster and faster each time. So that's the case of when we have it throwing it upwards or throwing it downwards. So we can look at this on a graph if we want to. Then we'll do the other equations after this. We can do something after that. I'll do one example. We look at a graph, the two graphs, here's V, and here's time, graph time. So we start with the first one of minus, of plus, that doesn't work. All right, plus 19.6, there you go. One second, two seconds, three seconds. That's about right. All right. In this case, for this one, after one second, it's 19.8. 19 9.8. .8. After two seconds, it stopped. After three seconds, it's minus 9.6. Right. In the second case, we throw it down at minus 19.6, and I'll tell you a little crude on how I do this. So in the second case, we start at, start at minus 19.6. It goes the same way. So we start at that, so one second, it's actually minus 29.4, then 39, and then 50. All right, so after each second, in this case, it, it stopped or two cycles that way. Now, remember the slope of velocity versus time graph, or velocity versus time, is the acceleration. And in this case, the acceleration should be gravity. So actually, in this case, the slope here a is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. In the second case, the same slope, it just starts at a different place. A is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay? So both have the same slope, but they just start at a certain time. So this one gets faster and faster and faster all the way down. This one, after two seconds, stops and then starts going. This gets then faster, more and more negative. So velocity gets smaller and smaller and then becomes negative. So all of them have the same acceleration. It's just that the first one, it stops and then starts going down. But the acceleration is constant at minus 9.8. All right. Um, we're, let's do one more example. Let's just finish this up quick. So I said in the last case, let's do the first case um, where V naught is 19.6 meters per second. 
right? We know G is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And then how, what is this position if we start it where it's at, at zero, when we throw it out, what is the position after three seconds? Okay. For this one, we're gonna use the expression, y is y naught plus v naught t plus one half g t squared. So y naught is zero, so that doesn't matter. So y will be zero plus 19.6 times three plus one half times minus 9.8 times three squared, all right? So we can figure this all out. This is my calculator. And so that will be, oh, so that's nine. Let's do this part, 19.6 times three, 58.8. A plus 58.8, and this will be nine, three times three is nine, times 9.8, divided by two is minus 44.1, so it's actually 17, Oh, not 17, 14.7 meters up. So even though it's slowing down, um, it's gone up, it's still, it rises up two seconds coming down, but it's still coming down. All right, since its highest point, we can actually figure out its highest point that it reaches by using the same expression so that's what the time, how far, how high it still is. If this was negative, that was means it would be below where it was started. So if we start at what's a, how high does it actually go? Um, we would then put in the time for two seconds. So we would do the whole problem, or replace this with two, two, replace all this. Because once we know how high it goes, So that'd be zero plus thirty-nine point two plus let's see that two minus nineteen point six. That would be nineteen point six meters is the highest it goes. Then it starts coming back down. So that's the highest it reaches is 19.6 meters. I believe that, right? Four, two, yeah, two. Okay, so that is uh, chapter two. Okay, so keep in mind falling objects, so you always have gravity We'll be looking at some of the graphs for this again later on, but that those are some we already talked about some of the graphs, and I'll look at them when we do um, chapter ten. But one thing I should say, let me point this out a bit. Um, here's an example that I kind of show in class sometimes, and I have two different graphs. Let's look at this one. This is from the text. And it's position versus time. Now in the graph, it changes. So this is not a kind, in part here, the slope changes over time. So if you look at this, there's a point in here where it's actually stopped and then going back the other direction. So if you look at this, where the slope, look for the, where the slope is zero, the slope of a distance versus time graph is the velocity. And in this case, 
there's one point where it's zero. So that's the graph in red. For green, uh, we have here, velocity, the slope of velocity versus time is going to be the acceleration. So again, we have a case here where the acceleration is zero and velocity is non-zero. You have a case where over here, velocity is zero and the acceleration is zero, but there's one other place on here where the acceleration is zero, but the velocity is non-zero. And so look at that. You can answer some questions about that. So again, the slope of the graph at any point is for distance versus time is velocity for velocity versus time is acceleration. Right? So that is, that is the rest of chapter two. And F.